Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 22nd of 2021. Well, it is titled NGC 7814 Little Sombrero with Supernova. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as the Little Sombrero Galaxy as compared to the Sombrero Galaxy. And they're actually about the same size, just that they are different distances away. So the Little Sombrero happens to be much further away. They are spiral galaxies as we see them edge on. So we look from the edge and we see the dark dust lane going through the center of the galaxy. And that is what we are used to seeing with our own Milky Way because we look at our Milky Way from the interior uh, from the edge essentially. And we look at this galaxy the same way. So you can see some resemblance between this and when we look at images of our own Milky Way galaxy. Now we also see just to the left of the central portions of the galaxy a supernova. Now the supernova is known as SN 2021 RHU, which is the naming convention of a supernovae. And what we identify it as as there are different types of supernova and this is identified as a type 1a supernova. Now these are very important to astronomers because they are distance indicators. They are all exactly the same. A type 2 supernova is what happens at the end of the life of a massive star. A type 1a supernova is a white dwarf star an already dead compact star just at the limit of its stability. And that is at a limit of 1.4 times the mass of our sun. Now once it reaches anything over that limit, it cannot hold itself up. So you can think of it as a wobbly table and you keep adding extra books to it and stacking books on it. Eventually you're going to put one book too many and the whole thing will collapse. Well, eventually you will hit one atom too many on this white dwarf star, especially if it's very close to that limit already, and that will cause it to collapse downward and then explode. Now the key to them is that they're all exactly the same. They are all a white dwarf star that was exactly 1.4 times the mass of our sun. And that means they will reach all the same brightness. So we can use them as distance indicators. Once we find out how bright they actually get, we can use that to then determine the distance by how far they appear. Uh, how bright they appear in the sky. So this is a major distance indicator because these supernovae can be seen over a, over a billion light years away. So they give us the distances to galaxies uh, out to great distances within our universe. And many other distance indicators do not work that far. They only work within our galaxy or within our nearby galaxies where we can see specific types of stars. The supernovae are very important because they allow us to see changes way out in the universe and help us to better understand the history and future of our universe. So that was our picture of the day for July the 22nd of 2021. It was titled NGC 7814 Little Sombrero with Supernova. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Cosmic Zoo. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.